What everybody ought to know about self-discovery. Are you ready to go further on the path to self-discovery? Good morning. I hope you had a great weekend and a happy Mother's Day. I am Toy Trust, helping you realize and achieve your dreams. Welcome to all my new Facebook fans, visitors, and regulars. I appreciate every last one of you, from day one fans, visitors, and regulars to present day. I hope you are enjoying my post and blog. Thank you for joining me and taking the time to listen. Thursday, I shared with you seven surefire exercises that will help you on your path to self-discovery. Today, I'm going to share what everybody ought to know about self-discovery. But before I do, here is one of my beliefs. The belief that self-discovery is a powerful tool for personal change and recovery and it is essential to creating the life you really want. So if you are ready to go further on the journey to self-discovery and you are ready to change your life, then I encourage you to be actively, committedly engaged as I share what everybody ought to know about self-discovery. Self-discovery is a process of taking stock or inventory of your life. It is a powerful tool for personal change and recovery. No other human being can know you like you know yourself. Taking stock requires getting real with yourself, taking ownership and responsibility, and owning your stuff. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly. It requires acknowledging your strengths and your weaknesses, your achievements and your mistakes or failures. It requires you remembering the joyous good times as well as the grievous bad times. As much as you enjoy remembering the good stuff, you may find the process difficult and painful when it comes to the bad stuff. In fact, you may be tempted to overlook it, ignore it, or gloss over it. But I encourage you to meet it head on and deal with it. In doing so, you will increase your rate of success and your quality of life. Those things will cease to have power over you because you will see them for what they are, your past and an opportunity to improve. Now the purpose of self-discovery or knowing yourself or taking stock boils down to creating the life you really want. Your life is a balance of doing from everyday chores to running marathons, having material possessions as well as intangible things like love and security, and being which is the core of you of who you are. Last Thursday, the number one of seven surefire exercises to self-discovery was asking questions. Well, here are a couple of questions you can ask yourself. First group of questions, in my vision of success for myself, what will I be doing? What will I have and who will I be? Second group of questions, how balanced is my life? How much am I enjoying my life? How much am I making my own meaning in life? So this has been what everybody ought to know about self-discovery. I hope it helps you go further on your journey and reach your destination and I hope you get the life you want. I will end with this quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. In the long run, we shape our lives and we shape ourselves. The process never ends until we die and the choices we make are ultimately our own responsibility. 
This is Toy Trust with Dream Makers, helping you realize and achieve your dreams from dream to reality. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, I recommend you check out Seven Surefire Exercises to Self-Discovery. I look forward to having you join me on Thursday as I continue with the theme of self-discovery.